Headline News, I'm Lynn Russell. Today at high noon over the Mediterranean, the fourth military clash between Libya and the United States since 1981. Two U.S. Navy F-14 Tomcats shot down two Libyan MiG-23s. It happened about 70 miles north of Tobruk at 5 a.m. Eastern time as the carrier USS Kennedy cruised nearby. The Pentagon says the Libyan jets approached the American planes in a hostile manner even after the F-14s took dramatic evasive action. The F-14s fired four missiles. The pilots report seeing two parachutes, although there's no word on what happened to the Libyan pilots. The Pentagon says the F-14s were on a routine mission. Uh, these six fleet ships and aircraft were operating in international waters and international airspace at the time of the incident and pose no threat to Libya. And these routine operations are of the same type that have been conducted in the same area many times in the past. Headline news, I'm Lynn Russell. For President Reagan, it may have seemed like deja vu. This morning, he was informed two American fighter planes had engaged a pair of Soviet-made MiGs controlled by his arch enemy, Muammar Gaddafi. And just like eight years ago, the F-14s prevailed. It happened over the Mediterranean Sea, about 600 miles from a Libyan factory Washington says makes chemical weapons. The United States says it tried to avoid the encounter, but that the Libyan planes pursued them over international waters and locked onto them with radar. Feeling vulnerable, the F-14s blasted the MiGs out of the sky. Pam Olson has reaction from Capitol Hill. Congressional support for downing the two Libyan MiGs was immediate. We did exactly what we should have done. I think it's clear that the American pilots, from what we know now, were trying to disengage, and it's clear the Libyan pilots were in pursuit. But many senators were quick to wave the flag of caution as to what happens next. Republican Senator John McCain says the incident shouldn't be used as a go-ahead for an attack on the chemical weapons plant in Libya. It is a heavily defended uh, installation, as we know, and uh, I think before we embark on any enterprise of this nature, which could be both escalatory and endanger American servicemen's lives, we should exercise every single option. And I don't know that we have done that. The former chairman of the House Select Intelligence Committee says it's important not to link a decision on what to do about the chemical facility to the shoot-down. I don't think uh, we want to tip our hand in any way about what we might want to do in that chemical plant. Another lawmaker says diplomacy should be first given a chance to work. The Libyans claim that uh, they are not uh, going to produce chemical weapons. They say that they would welcome inspection. I think we should take them at their word, but we should insist that in addition to inspection, there should be on-site monitoring. Hines says the Libyans might have challenged the U.S. fighters because they were nervous about a possible attack on the chemical warfare plant. But one senator warned that more... Headline News, I'm Lynn Russell. American reaction to the U.S. shooting down of two Libyan fighters today has been largely favorable. Worldwide, the reaction is mixed. It was the fourth military clash between the United States and Libya since 1981. Two Navy F-14 Tomcats shot down two Libyan jets in the Mediterranean Sea, 70 miles north of Tobruk. Defense Secretary Frank Carlucci said the Libyan MiG-23s approached in a hostile manner, and he said the U.S. planes were on a routine mission. Uh, these six fleet ships and aircraft were operating in international waters and international airspace at the time of the incident and posed no threat to Libya. And these routine operations are of the same type that have been conducted in the same area many times in the past. The Sixth Fleet operations had no connection whatsoever with Libya's newly constructed chemical facility. The State Department echoed Carlucci's claim about the Libyan plant in the United States, believing that it's manufacturing chemical weapons. Tensions between Libya and the U.S. have escalated since the CIA revealed concerns about the plant in October. Ralph Begleiter reports. Within hours of the incident in the Mediterranean, U.S. officials were downplaying its significance, declaring the case closed, offering no indication the Libyan fighters had been warned before being knocked out of the sky, sounding almost apologetic. These kind of incidents uh, are always uh, regrettable, no doubt about that. Uh, this incident happened. Uh, it's over, as far as we're concerned. 
The U.S. does not want military action against Libya to sidetrack discussion at a conference in Paris this weekend about curbing the use of chemical weapons. For more than a year, Libya has been building a chemical factory due south of Tripoli at the edge of the Libyan desert on a site heavily fortified with anti-aircraft missiles and other defenses. Secretary of State Schultz hopes to use the Libyan example to spur other nations to disavow chemical weapons and to stop supplying experts, chemicals, and equipment which might be used to create chemical weapons like those which have already been used during the Iran-Iraq war. The U.S. believes the Libyan factory could be used to give an unstable Muammar Gaddafi the power of chemical warfare. Chemical weapons can be developed cheaply. Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. A cockpit view of Libyan kill number two over the Mediterranean yesterday. Headline News, I'm Lynn Russell. The Pentagon released a dramatic seven-minute tape today of two F-14s downing two Libyan MiG-23s. The American pilots reported seeing two chutes open and both MiGs hit the water. And the Pentagon said in uncharacteristically blunt language that computer-enhanced photographs prove the Libyan jets were armed and dangerous. Carl Rochelle reports. One minute after the F-14 Tomcat fighters from the carrier John F. Kennedy spotted the Libyan MiG-23s on their radar scope, they were maneuvering to keep the Libyans off their tail. Four minutes and five evasive actions later, the F-14s fired. At 12.01 and 20 seconds, the first Sparrow missile is fired by the lead F-14 at the MiG, at a MiG at a distance of 12 nautical miles. Box one, box one. Oh, dude. Right. Roger that. Ten miles, he's back on my nose. Box one again. At 12.02 and six seconds, the second F-14 breaks away to the, to the right and reports a good hit on the second MiG. Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. It was eight minutes from the time the Libyan MiGs were first sighted until they were shot down. Libyan aircraft often come out to take a look at U.S. operations in the Mediterranean, but usually turn back when challenged. This time, the Pentagon says, they just kept on coming. President Reagan, leaving Los Angeles to return to Washington, said the U.S. took the right action. The crew of the lead F-14 was flown back to Washington with their videotape as officials here defended their decision to fire. As one of the pilots said, it's a pretty dang fool question as to whether you're carrying weapons or not. We certainly assume that any nation's fighter aircraft are carrying weapons. That's why they're built. And the United States says pictures taken by the U.S. planes prove their Libyan challengers were armed and dangerous, despite Libyan protests to the contrary at the United Nations tells me that the Libyan ambassador to the UN is a liar. That's the first thing it tells me. Uh, because they have, they've gone out yesterday and said repeatedly that those were unarmed reconnaissance aircraft. Well, we have the pictures now to prove that they were not unarmed aircraft. They were obviously armed aircraft with obvious hostile intent. We believe that our aircraft commanders behaved in a prudent manner in defending themselves and defending their aircraft, defending their ship. The Pentagon insists the matter is closed and the Kennedy Carrier Battle Group is headed for Israel where it plans a port visit. But knowledgeable sources say a surer sign... The industrial port. park where the plant is located in Libya. It is isolated from the main buildings of the complex surrounded by earthen barriers. Sources say near the plant are dozens of 5,000-gallon tanks that held chemicals for making poisonous gas. The photograph was taken in July and sources say those tanks are now gone. John McWethy, ABC News, the State Department. Well, in the wake of this latest confrontation with the Libyan military, the Reagan administration has tried to make clear that shooting... The Bogies 135, 50, Angel 16. Heading 340. Okay. Roger, Bogies. You're in collision now, steering. Okay, Bogies have jinxed back at me again for the fifth time. They're on my nose now. 
inside of 20 miles. Master our man, master our man. See? Good light. Good light. Okay, centering up the T. Bogey is jinked back into me again. 16 miles, the center of the dot. Say your angels. I'm at angels five, nose up. Oh, his angels. Oh, wait a minute. Angels are at nine. Alpha Bravo from 207. 13 miles. Fox one, Fox one. Oh, Jesus. Keeping right. Roger that. 10 miles, he's back on my nose. Fox one again. Watching him up. Six miles, six miles. Tally two, tally two. Turning into me. Roger that. Five miles. Four miles. Okay, he's got a missile off. Freaking right. Okay. Good hit, good hit on one. Roger that. A kill, good kill. I've got the other one. Select Fox 2. Select Fox 2. I got Fox 2. Coming hard, stop. So fucking shoot him. I haven't got a tone. Got the second one. I got the second one on the nose right now. Hey, I'm high cover on you. Get a fox. Get a lock him up. Lock him up. Damn, shoot him, Fox 2. I can't. I don't have a fucking tone. So what? The entire air engagement from the instant that a reconnaissance plane first spotted the two Libyan MiGs until both were shot down was eight minutes. In the U.S., the message makes the same points announced publicly by... I'm at Angels 5, nose up. Oh, his Angels. Oh, wait a minute. Angels are at 9. Alpha Bravo from 207. 13 miles. Fox one, Fox one. Oh, He's just loosed a missile. Keep it right. Roger that. 10 miles. He's back on my nose. Fox one again. Right, that's firing another missile. Watching them up. Six miles, six miles. Tally two, tally two. Turning into me. Roger that. Five miles. Four miles. Okay, he's got a missile off. Freaking right. Okay. Good hit, good hit on one. Roger that. A kill, good kill. I've got the other one. Select Fox 2. Select Fox 2. I have got... the trailer. Coming hard, stop. Shoot him! I haven't got a tone. Got the second one. I got the second one on the nose right now. Hey, I'm high cover on you. Get a, get a lock him up. Lock him up. Damn, shoot him, Fox 2. I can't, I don't have a f***ing tone. So what? Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Pilot ejected. Get out of the second one. Okay, Mike, so let's head north. Head north. Okay. Port side. Hi, I'm coming down hard. Roger. Roger that. This is going north. Let's go down low, out of deck. We'll be watching. You'll be able to see the entire sequence again at the end of Crossfire. We'll run it on the news right after Crossfire is done. Congressman.